So hey there fellow YouTubers, Frank Bush here again. I'm just bringing you up to speed with one of the little side projects I've been doing. Um, I'm on holidays right now and we came back from the family camp trip, which was in the previous video. But uh, I got a couple days before I got to go back to work. Decided to kind of play about a bit today. Um, I bought myself a Vargo Triad uh, titanium stove. It's got collapsible legs on it. The thing weighs about an ounce, holds about an ounce and a half of fuel. Very lightweight. I mean, that's your stove. But uh, needless to say, uh, if you've watched previous, uh, previous videos of mine, you've seen me use the Fancy Feast stove, which performs well. And uh, I've used this in multiple videos. It's a durable device that's lasted through time. But uh, like I said, I decided to test out the Vargo Triad and did a comparison. First off, in a kind of general sense, I put equal amounts of fuel into both and boiled off water and got, uh, got good results off both. They both came at about the same time to a boil and uh, um, they both uh, could boil the same volume of water. Um, I then moved on to uh, kind of testing different fuel supplies. Um, in Canada we don't have things like uh, yellow heat and uh, red heat and those types of things like you get down the states. Uh, I believe it's the state just won't allow it to be. They, they won't release it in the stores I think out of restriction. But we do have some fuel options. So um, typically I've been using the uh, isopropanol 99% alcohol because I found that to be easily available in any pharmacy or anything else. Uh, but uh, these little half liter bottles uh, uh, two cup bottles, three cup bottles, uh, I, I don't know the exact um, cups ratio for the Imperial, but um, a half liter of 99% uh, ISO I get for about six bucks. Makes it cheap, I can get quite a few boil offs out of those. But, uh, so I decided to try out, um, in Canada we have methyl hydrate, well I'm sure you have it anywhere in the world, but in Canada it's uh, cheap and readily available uh, methyl hydrate, 99% pure. And uh, I also got myself some uh, uh, ethanol, the denatured alcohol, um, and did a kind of comparison throughout the day. I did quite a few burns today, strictly in the Vargo. I was using my uh, windshield, and I was using a Tox 750 titanium cup with exactly two cups of water in it at the same temperature, and did kind of comparatives. What I found was... Um, now, using the ISO, uh, yeah, it's readily available, but it will soot your pots. It leaves a lot of black, so after you do a, a boil up, you have to clean the outside of your pot, either that or it just the soot gets on everything. Uh, it's easy enough to get off, but that's a factor that goes on with isopropanol. Um, when it came to both the uh, ethanol and the methyl hydrate, though, there was no sooting really on the pot. Nah, I shouldn't say that. With the ethanol, the, the denatured alcohol, there is a little bit of residue. I can't say there's nothing. Um, you know, the, the isopropanol definitely blackens everything. It gets all over your hands and everything. When it comes to the, uh, the ethanol, the denatured alcohol, um, it's, um, it's far more subtle in, in the kind of soot it leaves behind. But if you give it a good wipe on your hand, you'll see it. It'll darken up. So there is a bit of residue that comes off of that one way or the other. But with the uh, methyl hydrate, I found that to be uh, absolutely soot free from everything I've seen. I've, I've, I've got nothing off my pots. So, uh, you know, when you're out in the field and you're using little containers like this to bring along your fuel, you'd probably go with one a little larger. But, uh, you know, in some people's minds, this is one day's worth of fuel. You know, there's uh, three boil ups that exist within there, and there's your three meals. Uh, but, uh, now teach their own when it comes to that stuff. But uh, there's some other subtleties that go on. I found that uh, the isopropanol um, and the methyl hydrate performed at about the same speed. Um, like I say, separate from the soot, which kind of is starting to knock the isopropanol out of the park for me. And, and it's more expensive to buy that than it is this in my location. I can get a bottle of this for about $10, where I get these for about 6 apiece. So, you know, when you, uh, when you work out the volumes and that, this is half a liter and this is 3.78 liters. This stuff's dirt cheap. I can get tons of, uh, tons of burns out of it. But, um, even though this one, uh, the ethanol, the, uh, you know, denatured alcohol, even though that left a little soot, what I found was the stove, when you pour in the fuel, uh, it has to, and you, you know, you throw a spark to it, it'll, it'll flame up 
but it, it has to reach a certain temperature before the valves that exist, or the little openings that exist around the outside ring um, start to light up fuel and draw fuel through, you know, with the siphon effect. Uh, whereas, uh, you know, the fancy V stove having the, the carbon fabric on the inside, um, that happens very quickly. But uh, anyway, side issue. But needless to say, what I found, generally speaking, between these two fuels, which I really do prefer just for the lack of soot, that the ISO is doable but dirty. But uh, when it comes to uh, the ethanol and the methyl hydrate, um, I found the ethanol burns a little slower to get everything heated up and primed in the stove but it seems to burn for a little longer and once something is to a boil, you know, you get these two cups to a boil it seems to hold the boil for an extra you know, minute or two when it comes to uh, the longevity of the burn of this fuel. Uh, this fuel will come up to speed and reach a boil uh, you know, probably a minute or so quicker but uh, it, it won't boil for as long before you just run out of fuel entirely. So uh, that gives you my kind of two bits, you know, this is for when you're doing freeze-dried meals and those types of things, you know, these uh, mountain house type, you know, things that, uh, you know, breakfast skillets or whatever. Normally they take two cups of boiled water to rehydrate and have as a hot meal and ready to go. So like I say, uh, uh, this container can hold about three boil ups of water. Uh, one good enough for three, you know, one good enough for a packet of this stuff. There's your three meals in a day. And it makes it for really light, light setup. Uh, you know, given that this collapses down and my titanium cook kit is all collapsible into itself, um, it makes it that uh, my kit is about a pound in weight and I've got pots, pans, the stove, all sorts of things that exist within it. And they're feather light because they're all titanium. So even though I do kind of like using the fancy fee stove, I think uh, I did enough tests on this today that I'm confident enough uh, when I, the next time I go into the field and uh, do a video and that type of thing, I'll probably bring along the methyl hydrate uh, just because I know that it's the strongest performer, if you will, for just getting things to a boil. So, but uh, I think I'm confident enough in this uh, Virgo Titanium or Virgo Titanium Triad. Triad? I think that's the name of it. Uh, I, I think I'm confident enough in this that uh, I'll give it a, a field run. I'll probably still bring the cat stove just in case, you know, uh, this thing does have some issue. But, uh, you know, I never like going into the field without thoroughly trying something like this, especially when it comes to, you know, your knife or your stove or your, you know, critical things that, you know, that, you know, make and break situations, uh, you know, uh, in a hurry. I mean, not to say you can't do workarounds if I get a fire going and everything else, but, you know, work is work, right? So uh, I just thought I'd just do a quick little video on this. I know I've probably been more than five minutes now, but uh, just kind of give you uh, my take on these different fuels. And uh, like I say, given that we're in Canada, um, your fuel options are a little different up here. They're more restrictive, it seems. But uh, either way, um, I would probably go with the methyl hydrate, even though I do like using the ethanol denatured alcohol. And I think I'm going to start moving away from the isopropanol 99, even though it's readily available in that. Uh, it's a little too expensive and it leaves the black soot. So, you know, I think I'm, I'm moving on to better things at this point. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of background research on, on what's the cleanness of these fuels when it comes to uh, breathing in the fumes and all those types of things. Uh, I might do another video about that in the future once I kind of, you know, come to conclusions of is this safe to use inside a wall tent or not, you know, either one of these fuels. <clears throat> I mean, it's not the cleanest thing to do, but you also don't want to be causing bad things, right? So, but I'll leave it be at this, and uh, thanks for watching.